What took you so long to pick up the call? Well, yeah, I'm sorry. I had a lot of homework to do last night and I had to help mom with the laundry. Oh, talking about mom, how is she, by the way? Is she there? Mom always leaves the house at around 6 o'clock in the morning this past few days. The COVID positive patients are increasing in our city, so she has to be in the local hospital to provide food for the patients. She's exposing herself to the virus. Patricia, tell mom to stay right, stay in the house right after she comes home. But Kuya... No, I have to go. I still have a meeting to attend and my wife's calling me. I miss my siblings so much. I know that they have their own lives, but they have me too. And mom. Patricia! Hey mom! Oh, I hope so early. Nothing has changed. The numbers are increasing. By the way, how are you? I talked with Atta and Kuya this morning before my online classes started. How are they? Good. Did you tell them that I was busy these past few days? Yeah, about that. Kuya told me that maybe you should take a break with your charity. But why? This is the least thing that I can do to help those people who are affected by the virus. But Mom, I'm pretty sure Kuya is just concerned of your vulnerability. Your concern is much appreciated. But this doesn't mean that I should stop lending a hand to those people who are in great need. I'll make sure nothing will happen. Hmm. Let's just talk with Kuya later, Mom, okay? Almighty Father, I humbly kneel before you to ask for your protection. Keep my family away from the danger of this pandemic. Lord, please guide me to have courage to reach out for those who need my help and encouragement. Help me to praise you, even in this storm. Amen. feel so heavy. Mom, your temperature is high. You should stay here and just skip a day in the hospital. Hello? I am sorry to tell you this, but your mother is positive with COVID. Things escalated so funny from there. It was so difficult. Time was threatening. Fear, fear, anxiety, anxiety, struggle, the script from me. COVID has been nothing but a red red. I had no hope. I had no way to win. Lord, I know you were listening to me. I know. Oh God. I have never felt so alone, that being in a situation like this scares me. I fear for my mother and siblings' safety, and how they will act during this time of uncertainty. Father, calm my heart. I believe in you, and that you are the greatest provider of hope. Guide me for the days to come. Amen. Kuya Chris and Ate Maika Sorry for being a coward. Sorry that I haven't got to tell you about mom's condition. I'm sorry for having little faith that you would be here for me. I'm sorry to tell you this, but it pains me to see mom suffering each day. And it pains to know that I'm the only child she has right now physically present. But. Why didn't you tell me as soon as possible? I'm your brother. Of course, I'll understand you. How's mom? How is she? I feel so bad I can't be with mom right now. I failed to be with her in her trying times. Chris, what should we do? Mom needs us. Hello? Is this Miss Patricia? Yes, speaking. I am deeply 
please want me to inform you that your mother has passed away. I will call upon your name. My dear Micah, Chris, and Patricia, as a mother, I am so proud that each one of you grew up to be someone who's hardworking and loving. Keep in mind that mom is always fighting for the three of you. Always bear in your minds that we all have our freedom to do anything. And that includes being a compassionate brother or sister to someone. In times like this, it is normal to be scared. But don't let your fear prevail over the faith you have for the Lord. Spread hope, my children, for you may not know what the future holds, but you know who holds your future, and that's the God above. Mama loves each one of you so much. Love, Mom. There is and there will always be hope. Just trust and hope in the Lord.